We are living under a fake freedom. This is how Sheikh Dweller's movement, Abashali Basem Jondolo, feels as the country is celebrating 29 years of democracy today. We believe that the African challenges require African solutions. What that entails, the immediate or rapid release of land to the majority of this country. Others can follow. So, 29 years down our democracy, we see a fake freedom. And we say freedom without land is, 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 is a fake freedom. So, uh, we occupy land as a political act, not as a criminal act. Because you cannot steal what belongs to you. That, that's where we stand on the question of land. And we ask South Africans and those who remain landless that land will never be given. Land will always be taken. And this is what we do. However, there's a high price that Abakali has paid for its positions. We've lost comrades who do not regret for taking a decision that they have taken to really make such an ultimate sacrifice for the restoration of human dignity of the majority of African people in this country. My name is Tapelo Mohapi. Uh, I am a member of Abashal Basam Jondolo Interim Committee. Uh, we are here, uh, we've received support and solidarity since Abashal Basam Jondolo have been facing repressions. Uh, 16 of our leaders have been killed so far. So we are here to say enough is enough. Uh, in, within seven months, Abashal Basam Jondolo have lost seven leaders uh, from the anti-land invasion unit in Etegwini municipality. As I speak to you, the leader of Abashal Basam Jondolo, is, leadership of Abashal Basam Jondolo is working underground uh, because they are threats. So we are here to say enough is enough with the solidarity of Unite Behind, with the solidarity of all other social movements that have gathered here today, to say that uh, police must investigate 
and a, a commission of inquiry must be set in place to investigate all the 16 killings that have been taking place since 2009 within Abashali Basam Jondon. Right now, we're handing out the pamphlets to the community mobilizing for Imach here tomorrow. <laughs> Malami, Gingo, Zogisa, Makutuma, Kisala Epumeli, Impangela Yobala, Nam Santi, Sineminaga, U fifteen, Sisala Granda, Salago, Asina Manzi, Asina Jersey, Asina Lutonje, is Jamcoco, their Pisiga, who taught you our part. Sungu, Abantu Bazama Nova Kabaza Mugakaba, Tiliza Logos of Tatu Zawabu, who treat and the Chimpasazabu, Sitagagi Lesibu Sungu, Satu Mesego Maspana, wait, take that's going to work. What has Jimpanga Layet, Yoko Tisigan of Kakonam Sajas Bates, Asnato, Asiko with Freedom Tina, Abantu Batibak Freedom, Bakuleg, Askulegi Latin, Sakulunekamusa, Sensa Letafane Legi Lutisian. to be the burden of the owner of the property as well as the municipality. So the municipality should not be providing answers of communication. Yeah. And the demolition of people's structure must be a discretion of the officer, whether that is a home or not. And the comrades also uh, are coming up with other ideas of how we can force the states to actually give us security of tenure. Because right now, okay. many of the occupations in Cape Town, everywhere else, all we have is a court order that prevents the municipality from evicting us. But they want us to work together in terms of how do we get uh, security tenure. So, uh, 
so that we, people can start treating the problem. Three things to what Itabel was saying around the amendment the uh, Occupy Act that are of concern. One, they are saying that they want to increase the time that the person will be subjected to in terms of jail time um, to five years. Um, if you are inciting occupation uh, or you, you are seen to be occupying instead of occupation, they will be arrested for five years. So the, those are the things that are producing, or rather they are, they are introducing punitive measures uh, to criminalize people that are only crying for housing. Um, and and then there's, there's this thing uh, from the president around uh, having to provide alternative accommodation mm -hmm. when they evict people. Now they're saying that, that that is an encouragement that people should continue to occupy land. And therefore, they want to take out that provision. If you are if, if you're evicted, a was part of not provide you with an alternative land, with alternative accommodation. So that's what they're wanting to do uh, as, as it is. And of course, it's the same thing with the ANS. Don't go together on that thing because they're anti court. Um, and, and I think that's something that Abasha and Basen you know, Kani, they couldn't do it. Said that it's something that we need to challenge. Maybe it's something that we need to look at how to build a solidarity on things that matter. Um, to, 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 to chat with the campaign um, together. But also, when we were at Tengani ATP, we saw people building with, with bricks. And the thing is saying that the, we were here because of an interim interdict. So the reason to control of, of, of the land occupied, but was still in a precarious condition. And part of this discussion around the security of ten is that the parts of the public parts of land that are occupied by people in the state must take over the control of those parts of land through the people that have occupied them. So that people do not leave under the vehicle of the president that they will be evicted tomorrow or they are protected by an interim order that, that we don't know whether it's but if you want to go back to court and so on and so forth. Tina sink and in as Bumelan in Umteto, O Hanjo, Bewa, O Kuno, UTA, Sapik Sana now, O Gutbazo, Kwaning, Amakaing and Zet. We are so men, a local masses of Gutbazo, Bena, Imizet, Namakaing and Zet. Peswako on a local, Masabe Kubungu, Lelez of Zindo, Gut Uyo Tolugo, Abandabanig, Bautena Sabe Pele Majek. Genga ya ni na genga kuti ya kubungura. Abantu ba zobula lelo izinzu zabo. Abantu ba sasa tingu tiba kubega futi ba pega amanya masat. Abantu shala gbon. Jengo ba futi beti bona. Abantu abazo yenza ukuthi kuqalwe amahlathi amasati ba ukina. ba beko five years umute kuchi we lapo noma akube kwenye final kokai. Ka asifu melani nchobo na lomtetu. Kase kase intengi bona yomi na uhun menuwe tu kase se upkebengu yena upepete upepete gisa pambi. Manga be eti ena ena uzo boso abantu aba pepete aba kubezele sa u u u u pizango lugo ti gu gu se chenzi se indao agunja lo angi boni na gu intengi lo angi ti bona la baba ti bona la baba abasu pegi la baba funa makai gina kumeli inka ni nipe la kumela wonge umshalo semtondol today the working class in South Africa faces a lot of challenges in many respects of their lives and the conditions under which we live we have fought a very brave fight against the apartheid regime and have never anticipated that those struggles fights and resistance and different forms of resistance world have been trotted upon and tramped upon in the way in which it has and is being done by the post-apartheid state. It is very disheartening to know that. <laughs>